Family Offices Group. Uh, today I'm recording a short video for you from Berlin, Germany. And I want to talk about the idea of family office marketing maturity. In lots of industries, um, law businesses, CPA businesses around the world, accounting on it. A lot of these firms start out just based off of a few clients and then referrals and then maybe the senior partners speak at conferences or uh, network. But everything's basically just worked off of referrals. There is no marketing and PR department. There are no full-time sales professionals. And a lot of professional services organizations still operate that way. But the largest and most successful of them do not. Uh, the most successful, the top 5% of companies in each of those areas have large departments. Uh, that focus nothing on marketing and sales, uh, nothing but marketing and sales. So they're completely dedicated to that area. And one thing that's very peculiar to me is that in the multifamily office industry, which is a very profitable place to be and an enviable place to be if you can be a top 10 or top 30 player, is that a lot of these top family offices, which I've interviewed for my book, uh, which I've met with in person several times over lunch and at events and at their offices, Many times they tell me that their business is so referral based they would never employ a full-time business development or marketing professional. And uh, you know, it's, it's surprising because I think in the future there will be several full-time people on staff for the marketing of multifamily offices. And if you're running a family office right now and you want to grow your clientele base, then you should be employing somebody who's dedicated just to that. And in the future the place is going to get, the whole industry is going to get much more competitive and whoever puts out the most thought leadership, uh, speaks at the most conferences, uh, writes the most books, white papers, articles, uh, follows up with potential referrals and potential clients uh, in the most value added way. And the people who can really um, understand their marketplace and the niche group that they're focusing on uh, can really do the best. You know, here's one case study. Uh, one family office I know, they're a top 30 family office. They have nobody helping them with marketing or business development they don't know who their best prospective clients are. They haven't taken the time to look at their client base and say, oh, you know, 60% of our clients or 70% of our most profitable clients turn out that they're surgeons or doctors or it turns out they're professional athletes. They haven't uh, studied their own client base enough to know that and if they could just learn that, then they would know which uh, potential clients to spend the most time on. They'd know what conferences to speak at, or they would know how to position their services so it focuses on the global taxation needs of a um, you know surgeon that works in a couple different countries, or it would focus on the time-sensitive issues of somebody who runs three or four businesses or is CEO of a publicly traded company. You know, the line of services that a multifamily office offers will change based on the client base they're focusing on and all of your educational materials about the benefits of working with you uh, and the history of your high level of client service all change based on that as well. So my point here is that if you're running a multifamily office, uh, you should be engaging somebody as your chief marketing officer. You should be looking to build systems and processes to provide education, thought leadership, follow-up systems, uh, a newsletter, and things just to keep in touch with potential clients so you can build your practice faster because in five or seven or maybe at most in ten years from now that's going to be commonplace and I see the industry maturing uh, towards that relatively quickly but right now you can get in front of 99% of the industry by putting those processes in place. So I hope this uh, video is helpful. It's Richard Wilson from the Family Offices Group, company from Berlin, Germany and thanks for joining me.